Okay. That is out of this world. Whoa! On this episode of Beyond the Plate, we have international revered chef, Marcus Samuelson. He will be taking me behind the scenes where his open kitchen concept led by chef de cuisine, Nick Bramos, will be crackling and sizzling with magnificent dishes and then all sampled by yours truly. Stick around, it's going to be delicious. What does it take to be a great chef? First of all, a lot of passion and commitment. Uh, since I was 17 years old, I've only worked with cooking. Food is really a language to me, you know. Not only do I speak Swedish and German and English, of course, but I really speak the language of food. And for me, that's the only way I can be a chef. You want to communicate something through food. The other part is also you want to make people happy. Breaking bread, for me, is still the coolest thing, but I think for each chef, it's very different. For me, it's always about connecting to the city. And it's not a namesake for me. It's the first of its kind, with the robotic grill, with the open kitchen, with the fish charcuterie. Those are very specific things that we try to say something here to the city, talk to the city about light food. You know, Andrew's always very passionate about being inspired by the past, being in the present. And also be able to do it with Four Seasons that is such a world-class brand. But to do it specifically in Montreal, it's really, it's a, it's a privilege. And when we cook around that, and you had passion and know-how around that, hopefully you connect. You want it to matter for people's life. You want it to matter in the community. You want it to matter for the line cooks and the servers that's going to be the next generation of fantastic uh, Montreal chefs. Chef Nick, tell us, what are we making right now? We have the braised bacon on the plancha. We have the uh, Jerusalem artichoke puree. We have the Arctic char that's going to get confit in the duck fat. We have a little bit of our pear jus, and it's going to get finished with a little bit of the Arctic char skin on the plate. Beautiful. These surfaces allow you to cook fast, but also very crisp and light and direct, right? So even a dish like this, it's all about textures, right? There you have the uh, cream from the sun choke. The, the bacon adds one level of texture, right? And even the the skin adds another layer of texture, right? Because how do, how do we taste that? It, it comes down to nose, right? That's the smell, aesthetic, and texture. That's from Chef Nick, local. So the verjus has the sweetness. That is I want to taste. <laughs> Outstanding. And what do you think are the biggest misconceptions people have about being a chef, but on top of that, being such a world-renowned chef? I, I never sit around and wonder about what people think. I know what my day looks like and my nights look like, and I know the commitment that this is a 30-year commitment. It excites me as much as it did when I started, when I was 17, and that's a privilege to be able to have one craft, one trade, one artistry that I've been able to work and, and craft down on. Each mentor that have taught me something, whether it's been in Switzerland or France or, or, or in America, I bring them, this is their place as well. And that's an accomplishment. All of that is in the walls. And that's also what makes a place like Red Rooster in Harlem magical and what's hopefully can be the magic spice what makes Marcus in Montreal magical as well. I want to present that to the customers and hopefully they can taste it and enjoy the food and they don't have to think about too much. They should just enjoy it. It's our team's job to really present it and package it in a way so it feels effortless. Marcus. Yeah. I wanted to take an opportunity to thank you. I'm very grateful that we went beyond the plate to have a moment and Montreal is very lucky to have you. Thank you very much for having me on Beyond the Plate and hopefully I can come back. I, I think so. Mm -hmm.